good. Talking about some burritos today. I don't know if you know about burritos. I did, knew nothing about the burritos, but apparently there's an app. It's called Burrito Cash. See what it's all about, and what they have to say that it is is one of the most unique, original built money printers on Pulse Chain. There was no pre-sale, no sacrifice. It's minimally funded and community grown. It's uh, right up my alley, personally. But to give you a little bit more of a background of this here uh, white paper. Um, yeah, if you want to look at this, go ahead. Uh, I feel like this part is the less important. I just wanted to read this part here. But uh, if you're looking for the contracts, you know, there, there you go. I might, um, but moving on here, burrito token. The burrito token, it's the heart of burrito.cash. And it's got a, a cute little burrito with a face. You know, can't go wrong. But the burrito token, um, it's a vital to the ecosystem, embodying innovative and sustainability. There is, There was a point where you could convert your wrapped pulse token uh, into burrito. But as you see here on this update, that that is over uh but you can use the kitchen to mine brc which is one thing i'm going to be getting a part of um then there's x burrito x burrito is copy of brc deployed into the cooking v2 contract located in the kitchen it's a one-to-one -one ratio uh to brc x brc one-to-one Right there, one to one, one to one. It's one to one, okay. Uh, but users can deposit their XBRC into a single-sided stake uh, or single-sided staking pool, uh, which is Salsa, as you see right there, and then generate some yield. Probably going to do a bit of that as well. Uh, if you want to read this, you know, be my guest. Come on over to the docs, do it a read. Just going to kind of meander on uh, through. Looking at the salsa token, this is ink, basically, from what I've gathered. Um, the salsa token is the spiciest token existing on Pulse Chain. You can use its use case is to reward its users on the protocol in the single sided staking and LP pools slash farms. So the salsa is the reward token, it's going to be inflated and distributed to the holders right here. There's no max supply. Um, I do believe it said something about, maybe not. Either way, moving on. I think it's over here that I was just thinking about. But then we have the queso fontaine. Um, this thing's fun, just because I like queso. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to put a couple bucks into this. Um, but it's a, um, I don't really know how to describe it in simple terms, but queso is a is the premium token, primary token that serves multiple purposes within the ecosystem. It allows um, participation in liquidity pools, transactions between wallets, key features including liquidity and transferability. So I guess this is like the community's token. I mean, you might be able to use salsa as well, but yeah, if you wanted to like do things with like parent partnered with the ecosystem essentially it seems like queso would be a good fit because you can add it to liquidity or whatever you want to do but then you can convert it to x queso as well x queso as you see here it's not able you mint it into queso or you mint it from queso to x queso and in doing so and there's not much going on you can you can't um Right here, there's restricted from using liquidity pools air transfers. So that they have restricted certain coins to, from these things. I'm guessing part of the gamification so that, you know, the protocol can live long. But if you melt, using the melting function, you can, or you can melt your queso into X queso for more queso, or wait, Okay, no, you can, I misread that, my bad. 
so you can melt you melt your the melting function enables you to melt your x queso for more x queso that's a neat function subject to a cooldown period as you see right there but in the api reflects maximum compounding returns from actively engaging in the melting and x queso can be burnt to mint queso it doesn't say if that's one to one or not but is what it is uh then we have the kitchen the kitchen is lit it's a kitchen um you got the kitchen sink you got the faucets or the gardens i mean that are no longer a thing that's what this is the kitchen is a space that allows brc to flourish is what they say we shall see i don't know if it'll flourish or not it really depends on the people involved but with no time lock or fees it is a place of freedom of growth and growth we call this cooking your brc tokens uh it's unique the unique v2 cooking contract means each brc deposited is matched with xbrc at a one-to-one -one ratio unlocking new possibilities for earning new possibilities are always good you can't can't go wrong with new possibilities and when it comes to this first portion here i don't think any of the other sinks have such such a mechanic where you take the token and you pair it with uh, essentially another version of that token and then you're locking that and earning yield on it together interesting indeed but this function represents not just a new way to engage it's definitely a little bit new for sure a little bit of a twist i would say with the token but a novel approach to maximizing your overall DeFi experience the unique part about uh, how the apr works for brc in the kitchen that is it that is that it doesn't calculate the apr by dollar value simply calculates and generates the apr by overall token count so as you see here, I will just use this first example. If you have a thousand BRC, that's going to be a 50% APR, and you're going to generate 500 BRC per year. So, yeah, if you want to read these ones, be my guest. They're just more examples, more examples, more examples. They want to make sure you understand. Oh, and there's a little PS here. Think about uh, additional yield if you, a user added their XBRC to a salsa pool while their BRC was inside of the cooking contract. Two streams of yield. Oh shit, dude. Okay. That's also kind of cool. But this, I'm so glad they put this on here. That explains the top part so much better. So, what happens here? is it it appears this i was i was very wrong on what this meant so you're depositing your brc and then it's it, it says it's matched with xbrc with a one-to-one -one ratio but that what that means apparently is that you receive xbrc at a one-to-one -one ratio for the brc that you deposit into the sink um they could have done a little bit better job of explaining that here, but I'm glad that they added this portion here to clarify. Sometimes you just take the clarifier instead of rewriting the whole paragraph. So I can appreciate that and respect it. Thanks, guys. And uh, yeah, hit that like, subscribe if you like the content and want more random DeFi protocols. But then you got the Salsa bar. The Salsa is, like I said, it's the rewards token. Uh, the salsa bar stands uh, as the epicenter of rewardings, uh, rewardings of rewards with burrito.cash. It is Inc. H2O, it, it, whatever token you choose to, to yield farm with in such a way that that's what this is. The salsa bar contains a single sided pool, the LP farm, and LP farm providing the opportunity for users to earn yield by simply depositing their favorite token or by adding their token into a liquidity pool in the, the V1, PulseX V1. And then you deposit your V1 LP 
into the salsa bar. Either way, this is a great avenue for users to generate rewards in salsa while providing LP for the entire ecosystem. And there, I, this made me laugh the first time I read it because they're like, we have the lowest fees of the market with a highly competitive 1.9% deposit and withdrawal fee. Uh, I'm in Cowtip. A lot of their farms for 0%, my guy. <laughs> oh, shit. And then the fact that the, what actually made me last, laugh when I first read this is the average is 2%. <laughs> 2%, guys. That's the average. So they're 1.9 is the lowest fees all around. Ooh. Thank you for your patronage. They're cracking me up. But regardless, that is the docs in a nutshell. So that's Burrito. We're going to move on and take a look at the app now. I know right where it is. It's cool, 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 cool. So Burrito Cash, we're going to connect to Roo so that we can see it in its entirety. I guess we'll just have to use that. I'll give you an ejected option. Very low population is active in this wallet. This, um, in my opinion, I like it. Because, simply, simply put, if there's less people that know about it in this moment, I am early. I like being early. Especially for yield farms, you want to be early. Uh, so, that's why I'm getting involved. As you see here, the Brita coin, it's very low liquidity. 190 four dollars on pulse and 168 dollars on pulse x it's been around for like seven eight months and the chart has not done much as you see nothing but down but you know in in the down comes the up so i like it uh, i pulled up a little bit of thing here we'll take a look at that actually before we get involved in the app i have the three main tokens here got queso down 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 pop these over a little bit actually never mind we'll do four hour yeah so as you see the people that did get involved in the project so far they're it's they're shooting the price they're just selling it selling it down 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 like the burning ring of fire but you know, they've already sent it so low. I figured why not get involved at this point. But you got everything. Everything is down very, very dropped. So it could just keep going down. It is a farm. That is is the downside to farming. That, you know, sometimes they go up. Sometimes things go down. But if nobody stays involved, then... um or if, if nobody can th learns about it and doesn't get involved, then it probably will just keep going down. It is what it is. Cause a BRC to create a BRC miner. Stop cooking by withdrawing your BRC, and then eat is harvest minted BRC. Very cool, very cool. Introducing XBRC. For every one BRC deposit, you will receive a receipt of xbrc this can be then deposited into our pools to mine salt of rewards very cool very cool uh estimated is as of right now is 369 that's cool that's cool um well that's one thing that i forgot to mention i think it was a sink let's see here unique Maybe not. I don't know. One of these things that they're got one of their apps. I think it's the kitchen. I think it's the sink. Um, the first time I read it, first year. It might be the whole protocol. I'm not sure. But the first year is going to give you a higher APR. This three six nine, and then they're gonna drop it down, down, down. Uh, but then so that's this is the what the the kitchen looks like. You simply. You got your V1 and your V2. And I'm thinking I'm going to use V2. I'm not sure why you still have both options. Let's go back to the 
the white paper here. Um, so yeah, the V2 cooking contract is where you deposit your BRC and then you get matched with your XBRC. So that's what we're going to be involved in. Uh, but to take a look, I guess actually, we'll just go ahead and do that. So we'll come over here to BRC. And we're going to purchase a little BRC. So you got 30 smackers. I'm not going to do 30 smackers. going to do... Let's see if I can get that down, 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 down. I don't, I don't really want to take any slippage. So let's see. Let's how, how high can I go without taking slippage? Sure, we're gonna put three dollars. No, I kind of want to do more than three dollars. Can I put a one in front? Seven point nine. I'll just we'll just make two purchases. So it looks like we're going to get three thousand BRC for four dollars. Confirm that, and then it's going to go through. And then come back here. Their website's definitely a little laggy with all these fun little uh, things falling down on the screen, but I like it. I like it. Other than the lag and the fact that it's white, I, please add a dark mode, guys. Add a dark mode. Uh, maximize APR, oh, nice. One time deposit of 500,000 rat pulse will unlock full function forever. The rat pulse is used to buy and burn LPs for queso, BRC, and salsa. Very nice, very nice. And it's a thousand percent APR. Like, that's, that's pretty cool. Kind of want to get involved in that. I won't lie. I don't, I don't think we have enough at the moment, though. I'd have to, uh, move some things around i could it would just use up the rest of my funds huh mm, i mean i won't lie i sent all i sent that 30 bucks over here to for this and that's a nice apr might as well get the best apr on here right that's what i'm thinking so we're gonna go ahead and do that fuck it approve the wrapped pulse let's do it Oh, I need to get rat pulse. Makes sense. Cancel. Can't use non wrapped pulse. So we'll do that in a sec. But for the video purposes, we'll go ahead and get into this. V2, we're going to maximize this. Enable the cook. And then click that because I don't want to give it access to. A bajillion, gazillion dollars of BRC. You can just use the BRC that I've got in my wallet. Thanks. So then let's see if I get some XBRC. Let's come back over here and add XRB, XBRC to my wallet. I don't think you can see this, but I'm just, I'm in my wallet, pasting. XBRC and enabling it on that. There we go, very good. And now that is completed. So now we can cook it. Cook the burrito. Yep, look at that. Uh, or you can't even see it, but in my transaction here uh, on the Rabby, it's, I'm going to get one to one X burrito. Very cool. So it's going to load. It's going to send it on in. So let me come to the salsa bar. And then we're going to deposit the X burrito. Take a quick look at the salsa, or yeah, salsa farms. 
real quick. You got a couple options, not a crazy amount. Um, APRs are pretty decent if you're getting, if you're in burrito ones. Salsa and burrito are pretty high APRs. The other ones, not so much. But that just means there's a lot of people in those ones. Let's see, let's look at the details. Total liquidity, it's $39. Oh God. And the APR dropped that much, jeez. $26. I don't think I like that very much, but it is what it is. Oh, you know what? It must be because of liquidity or something. Uh, no, it is just the way they have it programmed. I'm, I'm special sometimes. Um, yeah, cool. They have these ones down. They want you to be in the salsa and the burrito because that's what's going to help the charts. That's why the help the APRs for these ones, not much, but it's going to give you a little bit. But now we should have our X burrito, so let's enable the pool. Maximum. Enable. And then give it the proper allocation yet again. You know, you can't see it. Don't forget, when confirming an approve transaction, you don't want to approve the maximum amount of infinity. You want to give it just the amount that you need to use. Keeps your risk down, down, down. That's what we're all about. If you don't have a, a hardware wallet, I suggest getting one of those as well. This is my test wallet. So, you know, I, I'm not on here, but it's because this is a new protocol. Don't really, you don't want to go too crazy with the new protocols. Got to give us some time to marinate before, you know, I deposit anything on uh, with the, uh, yeah, in my treasure. $170 in here, cool. Total in wallet. Did I not? Didn't I deposit you? What's going on here? Oh, it doesn't remove it from my wallet? Is that what's going on here? Yeah, total deposit, 3420. Managed pool, total in wallet, 3420. That is awesome. I love that they did that. Let's even take a look here. You can't see what I'm doing, but I'm looking into my wallet to see if the burrito is here. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. But it does come out of your wallet. It's not a huge deal. It's pretty typical. But there's a way they can code it so that it doesn't have to. So that would have been cool if they did that. They didn't. It is what it is. Uh, but, yeah, that's the protocol that in a nutshell, as you see here, got more to come. Coming soon, they got a tab called Sides. I don't know what that's going to be about, but it should be fun. Um more options if you want to get the docs. There's the docs, the swaps, and liquidity probably takes you to Pulse X, and then the price charts. So that's Burrito in a nutshell. I appreciate you getting a view, and then if you could share this with a friend, that'd be greatly appreciated, and all that jazz. But yeah, it right, white screen dummy. So we're gonna look at this Burrito. Well, uh, well, you know, bye bye.